ago. A great day to one and all. Welcome to the March 2024 Philippine Licensure Examination for Teachers Review for Mathematics Major. I am Mr. Kim J.C. Encho, and I will be your discussant again for tonight. But before we start discussing, let us start this prayer. Uh, let's start with a prayer. Let us all be reminded that we are in the most holy presence of God. Lord God, Heavenly King, Father and Lord, thank you for this opportunity you have given us to meet virtually uh, for our review tonight. Please bless the reviewees. Bless all of us. Enlighten all of us. Help us understand. And we are hoping and praying that you will give us what we really deserve and what we really aspired for in life. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, good evening. And I hope that we are all set. So please be reminded that as much as possible, you will shade the letter of the correct answer. And if the correct answer is not found among the choices, um, for this time, we have to shade E. So I believe that we are all ready. I believe that you were also able to answer the tests. And good evening po, Ma'am Alice, and to everyone. And with that, let's go. Okay, let's. So I will be discussing again another set of 40 items po, no? And hopefully we could get at least half. At kung ma-perfect natin, the best, <laughs> the better po. Let's have item number one. A bookshop sells certain books for 1,350 pesos and charges 150 pesos shipping fee, shipping the book to an address within the city, regardless of the number of books ordered. Which equation gives the total cost Y of an order as a function of the number of books ordered X? Did you go for letter A, B, C? Or D. Okay, letter A daw, sabi ng mga sumagot so far, letter A daw. Tama nga ba si A? If you answered A, take note. The cost of purchasing X books alone at X pesos each, di ba? Kung ilang books yung uh, binili natin, imumultiply natin siya sa price per book or sa unit price. Hence, X times 1,350 means that the price of the X books alone is 1,350X. However, whether we like it or not, we have to pay for the shipping fee, which is 150 pesos. And take note, since you are going to pay 150 pesos, then this is an additional payment to 1,350x. Hence, combining the two, we have y is equal to 1,350x plus 150. If you answered letter A, then you have a great start. Congratulations. I hope na nakuha po natin. And take note, if you have questions or qualifications, feel free to chat or feel free to write them in our chat box. Salamat. Number two, Kim earns 7,500 pesos per week in salary plus 5% commission on her weekly sales. She needs 15,000 pesos in a particular week. How much her weekly sales should be? Did you go for 130,000, 100,000, 150,000, or 125,000 po? What's your answer for number two? So far, we have uh, Ma'am Marnie who commented and Ma'am Jackie Lou, Ma'am Glory Fe, Sir, Ma'am Aporto. And they all commented, uh, Ma'am Alice as well, letter C daw. Sure na kaya yung 150,000 na yan? We will see. Take note po ha, na for that certain week, dapat yung marireceive niyang amount ay 15,000 pesos. Pero tandaan po natin that she is receiving... 7,500 peso uh, salary. Regardless man po kung meron siyang naibenta o wala, makakatanggap talaga siya ng 7,500. So what does it mean? 
it means that 15,000 pesos minus yung salary niya na 7,500, meaning to say, yung commission niya for that week is 7,500 pesos po. And take note, ha? So dapat yung 7,500 na to, commission niya yan. But remember, hindi po natin alam for the meantime yung sales. So let X be the sales niya for that week. And nakasaad po sa problem na kung ilan po yung sales mo, 5% of that will go to you as commission. Di po ba? So which means that 5% of X is equal to your commission na 7,500. And for that, no, we know that 5% could uh, in decimal is 5, in fraction I mean, is 5 over 100, which simplifies to 1 over 20, by the way. That's why 1 over 20 times x is equal to 7,500. And multiplying both sides by 20 to solve for x gives us 150,000. So letter C. So for that week, kailangan po niyang makabenta ng 150,000 pesos worth of goods or sa yung kanyang sales po. So sa lahat ng C, good job. Yes po. Don't worry po, Ma'am Julian. Lahat po ng sagot ay recorded as well. no? Everything here is recorded po. Number three. Perform the indicated operation and reduce to lowest terms. A squared minus 1 all over AQ plus 1 divided by A squared all over A squared minus A plus 1. Which of A, B, C, or D yung sagot ninyo? I believe, no? I hope na, maka na makuha po natin yung tamang sagot dito. Because this one involves factoring po. Okay? Bak wag po kayong mahiya. <laughs> Sige po. Yung ginawa ko po ganito. ba? If you are... Okay, so far we have letter A from two people. Diba? Kapag nag-divide po tayo, so the first one no, is your dividend and this one is your divisor. With such, diba? Kapag nag-divide tayo, we copy the dividend muna and multiply it with the reciprocal of our divisor. So ito po yung divisor natin, no? And its reciprocal is a squared minus a plus 1 all over a squared. Next, we will proceed to factoring. Yung a squared minus 1 po kasi is a difference of two squares, which could be factored as a minus 1 times the quantity a plus 1. And apart from that, yung a cubed plus 1 naman po, no? a cubed is a perfect cube, 1 is also a perfect cube. So a cubed plus 1 is a sum of two cubes, which is, in, in this case, no, it's actually factorable to a plus 1 multiplied by the quantity a squared minus a plus 1. I hope na clear po sa atin yung pag-factor. I hope na i-review din po natin kung paano nga ba mag-factor ng sum of two cubes. And from here, no, so we could cancel or we could... We have a squared minus a plus 1 is a common factor in the numerator and denominator. So dividing this will become 1. The a plus 1 and a plus 1 will also be divided and will result to 1. At saka yung matitira po ay a minus 1 all over a squared, which is letter A. So sa lahat ng A, good job. You got it right po. Number 4. What do you call the sequence 3, 6, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, and so on? Is it triangular numbers, square numbers, natural numbers, or Fibonacci numbers? Okay, letter A daw, set of triangular numbers. Okay, keep on commenting. So far, we have uh, people who commented letter A. No, If you answered letter B, square numbers, I'm sorry it's not. no, Because square numbers, you have your 1 squared, 1. 2 squared, which is 4. It's 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, and so on. It's not also the set of natural numbers, no? 
in our context, we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. And for Fibonacci numbers, it's uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, uh, 21, and so on. It's actually the letter A, the sequence of triangular numbers. Yeah. So I hope it's clear po sa atin. Yung triangular numbers po kasi dito, 1 plus 2, tapos plus 3, 6, plus 4, 10, plus 5, 15, plus 6, 21, plus 7, 28. Next nyan, I, uh, plus 8, which is 36. Uh, plus 9, which is, uh, and so on. No? So 45 and so on. Po. Letter A. So far, so good. I hope that you're doing well, po, mga kaguro. Number 5. Which, write the first 5 terms of the sequence determined by f of n equals n squared minus 1. Ch take a look at options A, B, C, and D. And which do you think is correct? Number five. Okay, we have letter A now. Let's, okay, so we have people who commented B. And there are also some of us who commented letter C. Huwag po tayong mahiyang mag-comment. Ha, don't worry po. No? Tama man po tayo, okay. Kung mali, okay lang po rin. Okay rin pa rin po. So, because what's more important is tayo po ay natututo. So, for this case, when we speak about function, no, it, it is, I mean sequence, it is a function whose domain is a set of natural numbers. Uh, in this case, starting with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. So let n be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To determine the first term, let n be equal to 1. By substitution, so we will replace all n's by 1. So that's f of 1 equals 1 squared minus 1, which is 1 minus 1 or 0. Meaning, yung first term ng sequence na to ay 0. Let's see pala po. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Second term, n equals 2. By substitution, that's 2 squared minus 1 which is 3. For the third term, n equals 3. 3 squared minus 1 is 8. For the fourth term, 4 squared minus 1, which is 15. And lastly, the fifth term is 5 squared minus 1, which is 24. So the first five terms are 0, 3, 8, 15, and 24. Letter C. <laughs> so don't worry po. So letter C po yung tamang sagot. Okay, good job po. Number six, use the recursive formula a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus 2, given a sub 1 equals 13, to determine the value of a sub 3. Is it 11, 15, 17, or 19? Recursive formula po ng sequence. Okay, letter C daw. Sabi ni Ma'am Jackie Lou. Same with Ma'am Shenny. Okay, tingnan po natin kung tama kayo. So, if you have this recursive formula, no? Given the first term, kailangan muna natin hanapin sa second term. Pag nahanap na po natin yung second term, we can now determine the value of the third term. Since we don't have the second term, we will substitute n with 2. So replacing all n's by 2, no? so a sub 2 equals a sub 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is just a sub 1 plus 2. Pero tandaan po natin, ano po yung next na mangyayari? Di ba nakasaad sa problem that a sub 1 is equal to 13? So what we will do is we will replace a sub 1 by 13. And that gives us a sub 2 equals 13 plus 2 or 15. Ibig sabihin po nito, the second term of this sequence is 15. Okay. Now, dahil meron ka ng second term, we can now determine the third term by substituting or replacing all n's by 3. So from here, what will happen is, magiging a sub 3 equals a sub 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2 here, plus 2. Kopyahin nyo lang po yan, no? 
palitan nyo lang po lahat ng N, this time by 3. Pero tingnan nyo po, ha? ano po ba yung value ng A sub 2? Di ba A sub 2 is already 15? Hence, replacing A sub 2 by 15 tells us that 15 plus 2 equals 17, which is now your third term. So sa lahat po ng sumagot ng C na 17, you got it right. Number 7. Given the formula a sub n equals 2a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 with a sub 1 equals 3 and a sub 2 equals 5, find a sub 4. Did you go for 21, 23, 29, or 31? Letter D daw, sabi ni Ma'am Christine. 31 nga ba? So ganun pa rin po. Dahil meron ka ng... A sub 1, A sub 2, wala ka pang A sub 3. Kailangan muna natin isolve si A sub 3 bago masolve si A sub 4. So dahil A sub 3 po yung hinahanap natin, we will replace lahat ng N dito by 3 muna. So it will become, so far we have D as an answer from 4 people. So lahat ng N, no, papalitan natin ng 3. So A sub 3 equals... 2a sub 3 minus 1 or 2a sub 2 plus a sub 3 minus 2 which is a sub 1 na. Pero alam po natin that a sub 2 is 5 and a sub 1 is 3. With such, we have a sub 3 equals 2 times 5 plus 3 and a sub 3 is 10 plus 3 or simply 13. Dahil meron ka ng a sub 3, we can now determine A sub 4. With such, lahat naman ng N dito ay papalitan natin ng 4. So ito magiging 4 ito. 4 minus 1 magiging 3 ito. 4 minus 2 magiging 2. Hence, the equation is A sub 4 equals 2A sub 3 plus A sub 2. Pero alam na po natin no, that A sub 3 is 13. And A sub 2 is 5. With such, we have 2 times 13 plus 5. 2 times 13 is 26 plus 5. That gives us 31. Letter D. So congratulations po sa lahat ng sumagot ng D. Tama po kayo. I hope na nakuha po natin. Number 8. Consider the arithmetic sequence 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4, and so on. Find A sub 11 or the 11th term of this sequence. So to solve for this one, let's see. Ano pong sagot nyo sa number 8? Okay. Okay, B daw. Now, for number 8, Tandaan po natin ho, that in this case, the first term is 5 kasi siya po yung pinakauna sa list. The common difference is uh, there are 11 terms. Uh, hinah hinahanap po natin yung 11 term, I mean. So N has to be 11. V is negative 3. Kasi kung nakikita po ninyo, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 po tayo all throughout. Okay, and we're looking for A sub 11 and we can use the arithmetic sequence formula which is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. No? Ito po yung arithmetic sequence formula natin. So after this, um, by substitution, lahat ng n, papalitan natin ng 11. Yung a sub 1 natin is equal to 5. So we have a sub 11 equals 5 plus 11 minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 3 po. So 11 minus 1 is 10 times negative 3. This is negative 30 po dito. And the sum is now negative 25. So if you answered B, tama po kayo. And sabi ni Ma'am Julian, kinalcue ko to nung tinuro ni Coach Kevin. Ah, okay, good, good, good. So I think no, you have your uh, calculator techniques with Sir Kevin, and that's very good po. Boy, number 9. The first two terms of an arithmetic sequence are 4.5 and 6. Find A sub 21. 
Is it 33, 34, 35, 36, or 38.5? Okay. So, kung inyo po mapapansin, hindi niya sinabi kung sino yung first term, sino yung second term. Basta in problems or cases like this, it's understood that the first number mentioned is the first term. So the first term is 4.5. And the second term po natin ay 6. And with that, no? So maray pong sumagot ng B. Okay? And to get the common difference, we simply subtract the second term by the first term. So 6 minus 4.5, 1.5 po yung ating common difference. And we can still use the same uh, arithmetic sequence formula. Yung first term, dahil A sub 21 po yung hinahanap, so all Ns are replaced by 21. No? So A sub 21 equals the first term, which is 4.5 plus 21 minus 1 times the common difference na 1.5. So this simplifies to this one. No? This is 30. Dahil 20 times 1.5 is 30. And adding it to 4.5 gives us letter B, 34.5. So yes, tama po yung letter B. Number 10. Find the common difference about arithmetic sequence if the first term is negative 10 and the fifth term is 2. Did you go for 2, 3, 4, or 5? Sige po, paki-comment ng sagot natin for number 10. Okay, B pa rin daw, sabi ng iba sa inyo. Let's see kung tama po kayo, mga moms and sir. So, ito po yung alam po natin, di ba? Pero given kasi yung A sub 5, given yung fifth term. So, we will substitute or replace lahat ng N dito Yung n na to at saka yung n na to ay papalitan po natin ng 5. Kasi fifth term ay given. So we have a sub 5 equals a sub 1 plus the 5 minus 1 is just 4 times d. And what's next? We know that the fifth term is 2. And the first term is negative 10. That's why what we did here is we employed substitution po. So 2 equals negative 10 plus 4d. You add 10 both sides, no? So you will have 12 equals 4D. And dividing both sides by 4 gives us a common difference of 3. Hence, letter B po yung tamang sagot. So, so meaning to say, mula first term, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, hanggang naabot mo po yung fifth term. All right. So far, so good. 11. Insert three arithmetic means between 15 and negative 1. So yung series na to, no? Or yung part na to, parang karamihan ata arithmetic. Okay, so what is your answer? Okay, thank you po, Ma'am Teya. Okay, what are the three arithmetic means between 15 and negative 1? Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, letter C daw, sabi ni Sir, ni Sir, Sel, Sy, uh, Sir Habana. How about the others? Okay, let's see. No? So dahil meron po tayong ilalagay na tatlong arithmetic means sa kanila, we don't know what those arithmetic means are. No? So, so let's call them po muna a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and negative 1. So arithmetic means po kasi are the terms no, na nandyan po sa gitna ng first at saka last term. So kung makikita po ninyo, meron bang terms lahat? Meron ilang terms lahat-lahat? Meron po tayong 5 terms. So ito po, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means the first term here is 15. The fifth term here is negative 1. And from here, n is 5 dahil meron po tayong limang terms sa finite sequence na to. So, by substitution to the arithmetic sequence formula, 
we have a sub 5. Lahat ng n pinalitan ng 5. Lahat ng, ang a sub 5 ay negative 1. A sub 1 ay 15. So we have the resulting equation which is a sub 5 equals a sub 1 plus the quantity 5 minus 1 times d. So we have this equation po. And substitute na po tayo. So yung negative 1 ay papalitan, ay ipapalit sa a sub 5. Yung a sub 1 will be substituted by 15. And you have negative 1 plus 15 plus 4d. Subtracting both sides by 15, we have negative 16 equals 4d. And dividing both sides by 4 gives us a common difference, which is negative 4. Okay? I hope na clear po sa atin, pero hindi pa po yan yung tamang sagot, yung final answer. Kasi yung hinahanap po natin ay yung tatlong terms na yan. Ano gagawin natin sa common difference? If we move from left to right, we will add the common difference. So 15 plus negative 4 is 11, plus 4 is 7, plus 4 is 3. And if you could see, the correct answer is letter C. So, sa lahat po ng sumagot ng C, galeng. Good job po. I hope na nakuha po natin at kung merong tanong, huwag po kayong mahiyang magtanong. Okay? 12. Insert one arithmetic mean between 17 and 35. Ano po yun? 26, 23, 22, or 19? Ano po yung sagot natin? Okay? Letter A daw. Let's see. So from here, ito po siya, no? It's the process. Can you take note po, ha? Marami pong solution dito. So, Kung gagamitin ko po yung process kanina, isang term lang yung sa pagitan ng 17 at saka 35. The first term is 17. Yung 35 is your third term kasi pangatlo nga siya. Yung n natin ay 3 dahil nga merong 3 terms. By substitution again to this arithmetic sequence formula, meron po tayong a sub 3 equals a sub 1 plus the quantity 3 minus 1 times d. So this is just 2d here. I just copy the rest. Substitute po natin yung 35 at saka yung 17 dito. Will give us 35 equals 17 plus 2D. And dividing, uh, subtracting both sides by 17, that's 18 equals 2D. Dividing both sides by 2 gives D the common difference, which is 9. And again, from left to right, we will add the common difference. So 17 plus 9 gives us 26, letter A. Or kung isang, take note po ha, kung isang, isang arithmetic lang naman po yung hinahanap, pwedeng add na lang itong dalawa. Add them, divided by 2. 17 plus 35, that's 52. Divided by 2, still gives you 26. Tama nga po. Yes, Ma'am Lori. Thank you. 13. Which term of the sequence, 13, 6, negative 1, and so on, is negative 85? Did you go for 15, 14, 13, or 12? Okay, letter A, let's see kung tama po kayo. So from here, it's given na yung, com yung first term natin ay 13. At kung inyo pong mapapansin, no? dito kasi, minus 7, minus 7, and so on. So this is actually an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of negative 7. And of course, we don't know kung pang ilang term si negative 85. Let's call it for the meantime as A sub N. And again, by substitution to our arithmetic sequence formula, we have negative 85 equals 13 plus n minus 1 times negative 7. By the way, n po yung hinahanap natin dito or yung number of terms. So subtracting both sides by 13 gives you negative 98 times n minus 1 times negative 7. I did not multiply the negative 7 on to n minus 1 on purpose. 
bucket because my intention here is I divided both sides by negative 7 immediately. That's why I arrived to 14 equals n minus 1. And adding 1 both sides, I have 15 thirds. Thus, negative 85 is the 15th term of this sequence, letter A. Good job. <laughs> 14. How many odd numbers are there between 18 and 114? Is it 46, 47, 48, or 49? Letter C daw, 48. Sabi ni Ma'am Jackie Lou, ni Ma'am Christine. Okay. If we have the odd numbers, no? so odd numbers are natural numbers that end with 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So the smallest of them, you have 19, 21, 23, all the way until you reach 113. At kung inyo pong mapapansin ulit, no? so arithmetic sequence po siya ulit. Bakit? Meron po kasing common difference na 2. So with such, your first term here is 19. Hindi natin alam kung ikailang term, si 113. So we call that A sub N muna. Our common difference here is 2. And our goal is to solve for N. With such, by substitution to this formula, we have 113 equals 19 plus N minus 1 times 2. Subtracting both sides by 19 gives us 94 equals n minus 1 times 2. Yung pwede mo rin namang i-distribute si 2 ulit. Pero sa akin kasi, ayoko na. Kasi sawa na ako. Char lang. Divide both sides by 2 immediately. I have 47 equals n minus 1. Kasi makakancel na naman yung 2 sa right side. Eh. And adding 1 both sides, no? Gives us 48. Therefore, there are 48 odd numbers between 18 and 114. Letter C. Okay, 15. In an arithmetic sequence, the second and the eighth terms are 9 and 21 respectively. Find the first terms. Is it negative 7, 3, 5, or 7? Seven daw. Let's see kung tama nga ba yung seven. I hope po na meron po kayong hawak ng inyong mga sagot ha para mas mabilis po tayo. So, A sub 2 is 9 and A sub 8 is 21. By substitute, take note po ulit ha, marami po ang paraan. Iba-iba po yung paraan ng teachers natin. Yung sa akin po, gagamit po ako ng systems of linear equations. So, halimbawa ito. Ano, ano, yung, ano yung tanong doon? Saglit lang po, ha? Okay. So, if n is 2, kasi nga, ba a sub 2 at saka a sub 8, sa a sub 2 equals 9, yung 2, yung subscript na 2, yan po yung value ng n. And by substitution po sa ating arithmetic sequence formula, you have a sub 2 equals a sub 1 plus 2 minus 1, that's 1 times d, 1d, or d. Pero yung value ng a sub 2, ba ay 9. Kaya yung a sub 1 plus d po ay inequate ko sa 9. Sa ikalawang given naman ay a sub 8 equals 21. Remember that 8 is the value of your n there. So by substitution again, no or replacing all n's here by 8, we have a sub 8 equals a sub 1 plus 7d equals 21. And this time, I will perform elimination po. And you notice, yung mga nakared po, mag -e eliminate po tayo. And I subtracted both sides, no? Because a sub 1 minus a sub 1 becomes 0. 7d minus d is just 6d. 21 minus 9 is 12. So 6d equals 12. Dividing both sides by 6 gives you a common difference of 2. Substituting d equals 2, where either you substitute it in the first or in the second equation, they will still give you the same correct answer. In my case, pinili ko po yung a sub 1 plus d equals 9. So that's a sub 1 plus 2 equals 9, or a sub 1 is equal to 7. Letter D. Okay. I hope na nakuha po natin. 
Good job po. <laughs> 16. In an arithmetic sequence, A sub 3 equals 13 and A sub 9 equals 37, find A sub 20. From here, similar po yung process sa previous item. It's just that kailangan din po natin hanapin yung 20th term. Is it 79, 80, 81, or 82? Wow, 81 daw yung sabi ng, ng classmates niyo. Let's see kung tama. So dito, gaya ng kanina, A sub 3 is 13. So we will replace that N by 13. And uh, from here, from this arithmetic sequence formula pa rin po, replacing N by 3, I mean, sorry, by 3, kasi yan yung subscript. That's A sub 3 equals A sub 1 plus 3 minus 1, that's 2, times D, 2D equals, this is your A sub 1 plus 2D is your third term, but your third term is also known as to be 13. That's why A sub 1 plus 2D equals 13. In a similar manner, if n is equal to 9, then replacing all n's dito by 9, so a sub 9 equals a sub 1 plus 8d, which is now equal to 37. And I did elimination again by subtraction. So thus, this becomes 0. 8d minus 2d is 6d equals 24. Dividing both sides by 6, tells us that the common difference here is 4. So just like kanina po, um, we could substitute d equals 4 either to the first or to the second equation. I chose the first one. So kasi mas maliit yung numbers na involved. But don't worry, kung sa kabila ka substitute, same pa rin po yan. So d with d equals 4, so a sub 1 plus 2 times 4 equals 13. And this tells us that the first term is equal to 5. But wait, hindi pa po tayo tapos. Hinahanap po natin ang 20th term ng sequence na to. And since meron ka ng first term at saka common difference, we can now solve for the 20th term using this formula. And by substitution, Yung n mo po ay 20, by the way, kasi yun yung subscript. So that's a sub 20 equals 5 plus 20 minus 1 times 4. And your calculator, our calculator tells us, or simplifying this, gives us 81. Letter C. Okay. So tama po yung letter C. Next number. If x plus 6, 2x plus 1, and 4x minus 13 are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence, find x. Sa palagay nyo, ano po kaya yung value ng x? 8, 9, 10, or 11. Siguro yung iba po sa atin ay nag-trial and error. Hindi lang po ako sure. Pero pwede po itong i-solve no? without using trial and error. And, and paano po yun? We can do that. Take note po, ha? To make the long story short, if you subtract the second term by the first, that should be equal to the third term minus the second. Kasi yan po yung definition ng arithmetic sequence natin, that you have a common difference. And by manipulating the equation, you will come up with 2a sub 2 equals a sub 1 plus a sub 3. In other words, to make the long story short, Kapag given po tayo ng three consecutive terms ng isang arithmetic sequence, then twice the middle term is equal to the sum of the first and the third term. At uh, In this case, no? Yung second term po natin ay 2x plus 1 and the rest of the terms are your first and second terms. So by applying the formula, that's 2 times 2x plus 1 equals x plus 6 plus 4x minus 13. And the right side simplifies to 5x minus 7, whereas the left side, when multiplied, becomes 4x plus 2. So I subtracted both sides by 5x, no? So ito, naging negative 5x sa, right, sa left. Yung plus 2 magiging minus 2 sa right. 
that gives us negative x equals negative 9 and multiplying both sides by negative 1 tells us that x is equal to 9. So sa lahat ng sumagot ng b, be happy dahil tama po kayo. Pero if not, it's okay. It's not yet the end of the world. 18. In an arithmetic sequence, if a sub 1 equals 1 and d is 7, find the explicit function in linear function form for a sub n. Which of A, B, C, or D did you choose? Letter B daw. May sumagot ng dog. May sumagot ng B. Let's see. So, take note po, to look for the explicit function of your linear, uh, the linear function, no? Diba? It's, it, the, your function looks like this. Bakit? Kasi yung first term mo 1, yung common difference mo 7. Eh. So plus 7, plus 7, plus 7 ka lang all throughout. That's why you could see from here, the first term is 1, the second term is 8. And so on. So to look for the explicit form now, so we will substitute the first term and the common difference, and the rest will be, and n will still be n. So dahil dyan, magiging a sub n equals a sub 1, which is 1, plus n minus 1 times the common difference na 7. So 7, n minus 1 times 7 is 7 n minus 7. And you could see, no, we can combine 1 minus 7 into negative 6. Hence, a sub n equals 7 and minus 6, letter B. Okay, marami pong nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Good job. I hope it's clear. 19. This refers to the sum of the terms of a sequence. What do you call this? We call this... We call this series. <laughs> Letter A. Be careful po. Partial sum po refers to the sum of the finite number of terms of a sequence. Constant is a fixed value, whereas means are the terms between any two given terms. Okay, so careful po. Letter a. I hope na clear po sa atin. Ah, siguro po na, baka na-duplicate lang po yung pag-encodes. 20. Let S sub N denote the sum of the first N terms of a sequence. Find S sub 7 of the sequence. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. Is it 47, 48, 49, or 50? Ay, okay. Siguro po baka hindi po siya na-encode. Baka sa pag-encode lang po siguro. Sige lang po. 20. So ano pong sagot niyo sa 20? 49 daw. Okay. So take note ha. Kapag sinabi na po natin, uh, in this case, we are now after of the sum. So, and you could see na arithmetic pa rin po ito kasi meron tayong common difference na 2, di po ba? Dahil dyan, um, I hope that you could still remember this. No? So, maliit na naman po ito. Eh. So, hindi ko na lang po ginamit yung formula. S sub 7 means the sum of the first 7 terms of your sequence. And continuing the pattern, the 7 terms are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13, the first 7 terms. And that gives you 49. Letter C. Twenty-one. Find S sub eight of the arithmetic sequence four, twelve, twenty, and so on. What do you think? So S sub eight pare. So ia add na natin. Kukunin na natin yung sum nila. 
What do you think, Bob? Okay, let's see. Okay, we have D. Let's see kung tama po kayo. So we could see no, that the first term here is 4. The common difference is 8. At dahil for some of the first 8 terms yung hinahanap natin, so the number of terms n is also 8. With such, by substitution, I hope you could remember the formula S sub n this is the arithmetic series formula. S sub n equals n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Meron din pong isang version nito na, hindi mo, na kung saan hindi mo alam ang common difference pero alam mo yung last term. Pero kapag alam mo po yung common, common difference, uh, this is the other formula. So with such, no, by substitution, that's S sub 8 equals... 8 over 2 times 2 times 4 plus 8 minus 1 times 8. This is 8. This is 8 over 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. This is 56. And your calculator can do the rest. So the sum of the first eight terms is 256. Letter D. I hope na nakuha po natin. Kung hindi, it's okay po. No? So push lang po tayo mga kaguro. 22. Solve for x in x plus 3x plus 5x plus all the way until 87x equals 5,808. Is it 3, 4, 5, or 6? All right. <laughs> so, take note. Kung inyo pong mapapansin pa rin, tingnan nyo po yung terms. Plus 2x, plus 2x, plus 2x, and so on. So, this is still an arithmetic series kasi you are adding 2x to get the next terms. no? And using again, uh, there are many ways of solving this. no? So, another way is I use the arithmetic series formula. Kasi gusto kong ma-determine kung ilang terms meron lahat. Yung a sub n ay yung last term. 87x po yun. Yung common difference is 2x. Yung first term po is x. So by substitution, 87x equals x plus n minus 1 times 2x. I subtracted both sides, no? yung x na to. So 86x equals n minus 1 times 2x. Dividing both sides by 2x na lang po para mabilis tayo. So 43 equals n minus 1. And it tells us that there are 44 terms in this series. So with such, meron pa po tayong isang formula, no? yung shorter version ng formula. Kung alam mo po yung first yung last term, that is S sub n equals number of terms divided by 2 equals the first term plus the last term. So, so meron po tayong 44 terms. So 44 divided by 2 at saka yung sum ng first at last terms ay 88x. So 44 is equal to 2 by the, uh, divided by 2 is 22. Pero S sub 44 here is 1,936x. So this means na yung left side ng equation po natin, kung i-add lang po natin siya, ay equal po sa 1,936x. And this is equal to 5,808. And dividing both sides by 1,936 tells us that x is equal to 3. So 3 po talaga yung tamang sagot natin for today's video. I hope na tama po kayo. Kung alam nyo pong mali, Huwag nyo na pong ipagpatuloy. Char 23. What kind of sequence is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on? 
Is it arithmetic, geometric, harmonic, or Fibonacci? Okay. Geometric now. And if you answer geometric, you are actually correct. Bakit? Sa arithmetic sequence po kasi, you are adding by a constant term. Sa geometric sequence naman po, you are multiplying by a constant term. Preferably not equal to zero. Halimbawa po, dito times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. So geometric sequence po yung tawag doon. Letter B. Yung harmonic sequence naman po ay reciprocal ng terms ng isang arithmetic sequence. 24. All of the terms and your Fibonacci numbers, I think you are familiar, no? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. 24. All of the terms of a certain geometric sequence are negative and are all different. Which of the following is true? A, which of the following is true about the common ratio? A, it is 1. B, it is positive. C, it is negative. Or D, it is between negative 1 and 0. Tignan natin kung tama kaya kayo. Okay, may sumagot ng B. Positive daw yung common ratio. Letter, may sumagot ng letter C. Negative daw yung common ratio. Okay. And ang tamang sagot ay dun, 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 dun. But before that, tandaan po natin that if the common ratio is positive, then the sign, the sign, you have the same sign all throughout. Meaning, lahat po positive na numbers or lahat sila negative. No? Halimbawa po yan. However, assuming po ha, na wala pong zero dito, na yung first term mo ay hindi zero. If your common ratio is negative, the signs are alternating. It's If your first term is positive, so plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. But if your first term is negative, so it will be, it will be minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. So ano kaya yung tamang sagot? Ang tamang sagot ay positive. Letter B. Dahil lahat ng terms dito, uh, are negative. So, lahat sila, same sign. So, careful po. Letter B. 25. Consider the geometric sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, and so on. Find a sub 7. Ano po kaya sa palagay ninyo? What's the 7 term? I hope you can still recall, no? Na meron po tayong tinatawag na, na geometric sequence formula, which is A sub N, or the N term of your geometric sequence, is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. Where A sub 1 is the first term, R is the common ratio, N is the number of terms, and A sub N is the N term, of course. So from here, by substitution, that's a sub 7 equals 3 times 2 raised to 7 minus 1. So that's 2 raised to 6, 3 times 2 raised to 6, which is 3 times 64, 192. Letter C. Ay sana all. Grabe, yung iba pala sa atin nagbabiyahe pa sa bus. Nako. Sige lang, ma'am. Push lang po. Letter C. Tama po yung 192. Galing. Next. Given a geometric sequence with the first two terms, negative 2 and negative 8, find the fifth term. Okay. Negative 5, 1, 2 now. Let's see. 
Dahil yung first term po natin ay negative 2 at saka yung n is 5 dahil fifth term yung hinahanap natin. Tandaan po natin ha, kapag given yung first two terms ng isang geometric sequence, upang makuha yung common ratio, i-divide po natin yung second term by the first term. So that's negative 8 divided by negative 2. Your common ratio is 4. And by substitution again to this uh, geometric sequence formula, no, you will get, you will get, dan, 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 negative 2 times 4 raised to 5 minus 1. And 5 minus 1 is 4, so 4 to the 4th will be simplified first into 256. And multiplying that to negative 2 is negative 512. Tama po kayo sa lahat ng nag-comment. Great job. Negative 512. 27. Suppose that the first term is 10 and the fourth term is 80. Are the, fir are the terms of a geometric sequence find natin yung common ratio. Is it 1.5, 2, 3, or 4? Okay. 2 daw. So, let's see. Paano nga ba ito? So, to get the common ratio, given the first term and the fourth term, we can still apply the geometric sequence formula natin which is this. But dahil uh, yung pinakamataas na subscript ay 4, so let n be equal to 4. With such, replacing all n's by 4 gives us a sub 4 equals a sub 1 r cubed. Pero alam po natin, di ba, that your fourth term is 80 and your first term is 10. Kaya po naging ganyan by substitution. That's 80 equals 10 r cubed. Dividing both sides by 10 tells us that 8 is equal to r cubed. And of course, no, getting or extracting the cube root of both sides tells us that the common ratio is 2. So B is the correct answer. So far, so good. Malapit na po. Okay. 28. In a geometric sequence, a sub 3 equals 3, and a sub 6 equals 192. Find the eighth term. Is it 3,072, 6,144, 12,288, or 24,576? Okay. Please comment your answer. Okay, so let's see kung tama po yung letter A na sagot ninyo. Now, so ito po yung given, the third term is 3 and the sixth term is 192. A sub 8 po yung hinahanap natin. So, if n is equal to 3, no? so ito po yung ating geometric series, uh, sequence formula. Lahat ng n ay papalitan po natin ng 3. So that becomes a sub 3 equals a sub 1, r raised to 3 minus 1, or r squared, equals. Pero yung a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1, r squared. Pero alam po natin na sa problem na the third term is also 3. That's why a sub 1, r squared is also equated to 3. This will be our first equation. The second one, a sub 6, no? So our n naman po will be 6. And that will be a sub 6 equals a sub 1 r raised to 6 minus 1 or r to the fifth equals uh, 192. Kasi the sixth term is also 192. And ano po yung nangyari? Yung ginawa ko po is, take note po again ha, marami pong paraan pero para makasave po tayo sa oras and for today's video. Uh, yung r to the fifth po ay inexpress ko na lang as r squared times r cubed. Magtatanong kayo, bakit ganon? Take note. Di ba yung, kasi meron po tayong r, a sub 1 r squared equals 3 eh. 
That's why yung multiply ko sa r squared para maging r to the fifth will be r cubed na lang po. Okay? So, if you multiply this or simplify this, you will still go back to a sub 1 r to the fifth. Pero, based on this, no, a sub 1 r squared is equal to 3. So, I will replace this uh, expression inside the parenthesis by 3. So, 3 r cubed equals 192. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us r cubed equals 64. Taking the cube root of both sides tells us that the common ratio is equal to 4. Pero hindi pa po tayo tapos. Ang hinahanap po natin ay, uh, take note, <laughs> napahaba ko pa po ata. So, I know that R is 4 na, no? so I substituted dito. So, I substituted in the first equation kanina na A sub 1, R squared equals 3. Pero knowing that my R is 4, so I have A sub 1 times 16 equals 3. So A sub 1 is 3 over 16. And of course, by substitution now, N is replaced by 8. A sub 1 by 3 over 16. And N by, N by 8. And the R by 4. Gives us 3 over 16 times 4 raised to 7, which is 3,072, letter A. May, mabilis, may mas mabilis pa pong paraan. Di ba sa A sub 6, multiply ka ng 4, makukuha mo sa A sub 7. Pag multiply mo ulit ng 4, makukuha mo sa A sub 8. So that's why it's just nag times 4 times 4 ka lang. 192 times 16 is still 3,072. Letter A pa rin. 29. Insert two geometric means between 15 and 960. Is it 42 and 84, 45 and 90, 48 and 96, or 60 and 240? Okay. What's your answer po for 29? D daw, 60 and 240. We'll see. So dito, gaya ng kanina, dahil dalawa sila sa gitna, so it appears that 15 is the first term and 960 is the fourth term. And dahil merong apat na terms, so your N is equal to 4. With such, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 R raised to N minus 1. And replacing n by 4, so you have a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to 4 minus 1 or simply 3 na lang. We replaced a sub 4 by 960, a sub 1 by 15. So 960 equals 15 r cubed, dividing both sides by 15. So r cubed is equal to 64 pa rin po. So getting the cube root of both sides tells us that the common ratio is equal to 4. But again, we are looking for the geometric means. And if we move from left to right, we are actually multiplying the common ratio. So from here, um, 15 times 4 is 60. 60 times 4 is 240. Indeed, letter D. Okay. Number 30. Insert a mean proportional between 9 and 16. Is it 12, negative 12, both A and B, or D, neither A nor B? Okay, letter C daw, both A and B. Take note, kapag sinabi po natin mean proportional, it's just saying, this problem is just saying, insert 1, arithmetic mean, between 9 and 16. No? And if you have 1 arithmetic mean, so 
Yan po, A sub 2 lang po yung ilalagay natin sa pagitan ng 9 and 16. So you can see that A sub 1 is 9, A sub 3 is 16, and also there are three terms, so N is 3. By substitution to the geometric sequence formula, replacing N by 3, no? So lahat ng N pinalitan ng 3. So A sub 3 is equal to A sub 1 R squared. But of course, by substitution na lang po nito, so you have 16 equals 9 R squared. Dividing both sides by 9, that's 16 over 9 equals R squared. And take note, we will now take the square root of both sides of the equation. But we have to place a plus and minus symbol based on the rule. Because if our index is even, better place plus minus. So that's plus minus four thirds for your common ratio. And dahil yung second term po or yung mean proportional yung hinahanap natin, we will multiply nine with the common ratio. So nine times four thirds is 12 and nine times negative four thirds is negative 12. Hence, both A and B are correct. It could be 12 or negative 12, letter C. I hope na nakuha po natin. I hope you are not confused po. 31. How about ito? If 2x, 5x minus 2, 20x minus 24 form a geometric progression. By the way, progression is the other term for sequence. Find the positive value of x. Is it 1.5, 2, 3, or 4? Okay. Bidaw. Siguro nag-trial and error po kayo. Wala pong problema doon. Minsan kasi, mas mabilis po yung trial and error. But take note po ha, to make the long story short po, if, the, if you have the first three terms of a geometric sequence, then the square of the second or the middle number or the middle term is equal to the product of the first and the third term. Tandaan po natin yan. Square mo yung middle, equal yan sa product ng first at saka third term. So by substitution, yung second term natin kasi ay 5x minus 2, no? So 5x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 2x times 20x minus 24. So if we square this binomial, so you, di ba kung square po tayo ng binomial, you square the first term, square ng 5x ay 25x squared. Twice the product of the first and the second terms. 5x times negative 2, that's negative 10x. 2 times negative 10x is negative 20x. And add it with the square of the last term. So negative 2 quantity squared, that's plus 4. And if we distribute 2x to 20x minus 24, you will end up with 40x squared minus 48x. And by manipulation of the equation, no? so we subtracted both sides by 40x squared minus 48x, you will arrive to negative 15x squared plus 28x plus 24 equals 0. And from here, you could, uh, in my case, I multiplied both sides by negative 1 para maging positive lang yung leading coefficient natin. And we arrived to 15x squared minus 28x plus 4 equals 0. Okay? And this is actually factorable into 15x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2 and equals 0. And by the zero property of multiplication po, di ba? I-equate po natin yung bawat factor to zero. So 15x plus 2 equals zero means that x is equal to negative 2 over 15. x minus 2 equals zero 
or x sub 2 is equal to 2. Kung isa substitute po ninyo yung first value na negative 2 over 15, sa, dito po sa ating uh, three terms, you will arrive to negative 4 fifteenths, negative 8 thirds, and negative 80 thirds, and you could see na meron pong common ratio na 10. So it will make this indeed, x equals negative 2 over 15 will make the sequence geometric po. Kasi nga meron common ratio, in this case, 10. For the second case, if x is equal to 2, you will arrive to 4, 8, 16. This is now a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 2. So dahil 2 is one of the choices, therefore the correct answer is B, 2. So far, we have at least three people who got the item right. Congratulations. And I hope na nakatouch up po yung po yung iba no sa ating uh, ano po sa ating um rationalization take note kung hindi niyo po alam yung ito you can do trial and error still basta alam po niyo yung concept ng geometric sequence 32 find the sum of the first six terms of a geometric sequence with the first term equal to 4 the common ratio equal to negative 3 which of A, B, C, or D is did you answer? Or is your answer? Okay. Negative 7 to 8. Ata raw. Let's see. So, um, in this case po, no, maraming pong paraan upang isolve ito. Ha? So, in my case, uh, I will do the somehow the longer method. So, ito po yung itsura niya. Kasi negative 3 yung common ratio. So, first term of 4, 4 times 3, negative 12 yung second term. Negative 12 times 3, times negative 3 will give you 36 and so on. Yung technique po dito is, we will multiply both sides. I don't know the answer. For example, po muna, ha, para it's like an ingenuine method. Hindi naman talaga ingenuine. No? Um, I multiply both sides of the first equation by the common ratio, which is negative 3. That's why S sub 6 times negative 3 will be negative 3 S sub 6. 4 times negative 3 will be negative 12. Pero you notice, inalign ko na po siya sa negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 3 will be positive 36, and so on, until such time na yung negative 972 multiplied by negative 3 becomes plus 2,916. And take note, notice nyo po, no? meron po mga terms dito na parehas. So to eliminate them, subtract po tayo both sides. So S sub 6 minus negative 3 S sub 6 1, it's understood the 1 yan dito, 1 minus, minus minus will become plus. So it becomes 4 S sub 6. S sub 6 plus 3 S sub 6, which is 4 S sub 6, equals ito, 4, copy lang. It's understood na 0 yan dito. 4 minus 0, 4. Dito 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. At saka dito, 0 minus 2,916. So with that, the right side simplifies to negative 2,912. And I just copy the left-hand side. Dividing both sides by 4 gives us S sub 6 equals negative 728. So letter A is the correct answer. All right. 33. Find A sub 1 of a geometric sequence. If the sum of the first four terms is 360 and the common ratio is 3, is it 9, 10, 11, or 12? Okay, let's see kung tama po kayo. 
So take I hope no that we could see that N is four kasi as sub four eh, some of the first four terms. I hope now that you could remember the formula for the partial sum ng ating uh, geometric series. That is, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. From here, by substitution na lang po, yung S sub 4, so n is 4, no? So S sub 4 equals A sub 1 times 1 minus 3, Yung common ratio na 3 raised to 4 all over 1 minus 3. Your denominate, so by substitution as well, S sub 4 is 360 times equals A sub 1 times 1 minus 81 all over negative 2. And multiplying both sides by negative 2, I mean, sorry, in this case pala, I just divided the negative 80 by negative 2, which is 40 A sub 1. And dividing both sides by 40 tells us that the value of A sub 1 is 9. Hence, the first term of this geometric uh, series or sequence also is 9. Congratulations, Ma'am Jackie Lou and Ma'am Alice. Tama po kayo. 34. Find S sub 8 of the geometric sequence with 2,560 and 1,280 as first and second terms, respectively. Is it 5,100, 5,400, 5,800, or 5,900? What do you think? From here, okay, letter A daw, sabi ni Ma'am Len. Okay, so it's understood that 2560 is the first and 1280 is the second term. So the common ratio is actually one half. How did we get one half? Dahil dinivide po natin ang second term by the first term. That's how we got the common ratio. And of course, no? There are eight terms pa rin po. So by substitution, that's S sub 8 equals 2,560 times the quantity 1 minus 1 half to the 8 all over 1 minus 1 half. So <laughs> yung minsan, no, parang mahirap na kapag may fractions. Pero good thing for us kasi meron po tayong calculator. So just using your calculator, it tells you that 5,100 po yung sum nila. Okay, so letter A po. Tama. Moving on, kasi kailangan po natin mag-move on. No? Or else, masasaktan lang po tayo. 35. Evaluate the summation of 0.6 raised to n as n goes from 1 to 7. Express your answer as a decimal to the nearest hundreds. A, B, C, or D? Letter A da, 1.46. Sabi ni Ma'am Jackie Lou. Okay. I hope na nakuha po natin ito. So it this is a summation notation, no? And the first term, of course, to get the first term, just let n be equal to 1. By the way, no, so n natin ranges only from 1 to 7. So n, what is uh, 0.6 raised to 1 plus 0.6 raised to 2 plus 0.6 raised to 3 all the way until 0.6 plus 0.6 raised to 7 po yan. Okay? So by substitution, that's the first term. Yung second term ay 0.6 squared, which is 0.36. Yung third term is 0.6 cubed, which is 0.216. And is there a common ratio? Yes. You could actually verify that po, no? If you will divide 0.216 by 0.36, you get 0.6. If you divide the second term by the first term, you will get 0.6 also. 
You could do this all the way until the seventh term, but it's not necessary. Anyway, we can apply or we can solve this using the geometric series formula. S sub n equals A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus R to the n all over 1 minus R. And for that, you will have this expression. S sub 7 equals 0. 0.6 times the quantity 1 minus 0. 0.6 raised to 7 all over 1 minus 0. 0.6, which, by the way, simplifies to approximately 1.46, letter A. Hey, good job. <laughs> tama po kayo. May tama kayo. 36. Is x equals negative 3, a root of 2x cubed, minus 8x squared plus 4x minus 3? Is it A, yes, B, no, C, maybe, or D, cannot be determined? No daw. Sabi ng madlang people. Do the others also agree with no? All right, let's see. Take note, ha? Bakit po ganito? Diba? I will apply what we call the remainder theorem, no? Or the factor theorem, whatever it is. So the technique is, if you will substitute the value of x to the given polynomial, and if the resulting polynomial is zero, or if the resulting va the value that you will get is zero, then that simply means that negative three is a root. Pero kapag hindi po zero yung nakuha ninyo, then hindi po siya root. So by substitution to this, and using your calculators, it becomes two times negative 27 minus eight times nine minus 12 minus three, which by the way simplifies to negative 141. Since the value of the expression at x equals negative 3 is not 0, then negative 3 is not a root of 2x cubed minus 8x squared plus 4x minus 3. So B is the correct answer. Good job. Next. 37. Three-fourths of the participants in a regional training program are from private universities. Two-thirds of these are from teacher education institutions. If there are 96 participants, how many of them represent private teacher education institutions? 72, 18, 48, or 24? Grave. Many are convinced about letter C na 48 daw. So aanhin po natin si 3 fourths at saka si 2 terms. Yan ay imumultiply po natin. So that's 3 fourths times 2 thirds times 96. And you will get 1 half of 96. Bakit kanyan? Kasi yung 3 at saka 3 will, be, will cancel out. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. So 1 half of 96 gives you 48. So in other words, 48 of them are from private teacher education institutions. Letter C. And I'm C. I'm happy that you got them all right. So thank you, Paul, Ma'am Jackie Lou, and to the rest who commented their answers as well. Ma'am Shaney, Ma'am Alice as well. 38. If f of x equals 2x minus 3, and g of x equals x squared minus 1, find f of f of x. Saan po dyan yung sagot ninyo sa apat? Okay, 4x minus 9 daw. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng f of f of x? It means na ang x ni f of x ay papalitan po natin ng f of x din. In, to make the long story short, dahil f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, yung x na to ay papalitan din natin ng 2x minus 3. So f of f of x means 2 times this 
is replaced still by f of x. So 2 times 2x minus 3, minus 3 pa rin. By distribution, 2 times 2x minus 3 is 4x minus 6, but we still have the minus 3 there. And simplifies to 4x minus 9, letter C. Okay, so far I'm happy that many of you got this item correctly. How about 39? A total of 75,000 pesos is deposited into two simple interest accounts. In one account, the annual simple interest rate is 15%. It's 5%, I mean. And in the second account, the annual simple interest rate is 7%. The amount of interest earned for one year was 4,050 pesos. How much was invested in each? Tingnan nyo po si A, B, C, at saka si D. Saan sa kanila yung tama? Letter A, okay. It, I, it seems na marahin po talaga kayong convinced sa A. So ito po yung ginawa ko. I let X to be the amount invested at 5% and of course, why be the amount invested at 7% interest? So dahil 75,000 yung total investment, it means that X plus Y is equal to 75,000. And ito naman po yung equation natin, yung next, no? Kasi this is for this is an, the interest for one year, no? So 0 0.05 P uh, principal is X, rate is 0 0.05 times a time which is 1. That's why 0 0.05x. For the second investment, yung interest mo uh is PRT pa rin. So P principal is Y, rate is 0 0.07, dahil sa 7%. At saka yung T is the time which is 1. That's why 0 0.07Y is the investment or the interest for the second investment. And altogether, the interests in these two investments add up to 4,050 pesos. That's why you have that second equation over there. And from the first equation, I subtracted both sides by x because I intend to use or to perform substitution. But before that, the second equation, ito po yung equation na to, no? Para mawala po yung mga, uh, ano tawag din? To clear off the decimals, no? I multiplied both sides by 100. So we have 5x plus 7y equals 405,000 po. Replacing y, this y will be replaced by 75,000 minus x gives 5x plus 7 times 75,000 minus x equals 4,005. And by distribution po, naging 5x plus 525,000 minus 7x equals 405,000. And uh, negative 2x nag tayo ng 525,000 both sides as well. Negative 2x equals negative 120,000 and dividing both sides by 2, by negative 2, tells us na 60,000 yung invested at 5%. Pero dahil meron pa tayong y, no? Equals 75,000 minus x. Substituting there gives 75,000 minus 60,000. Therefore, 15,000 pesos was invested at 7% interest. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A. And we have one more item for tonight. That is, the intersection of sets A and B is defined by A intersection B which is the set of all x such, a, such that x is an element of A and x is an element of B. To make the long story short, common elements. If A has elements A, B, C, D, E, B has elements A, C, F, G, find A intersection B. Okay, letter C daw. Sabi ni Ma'am Jackie Lu, ni Ma'am Alice, ni Ma'am Ila, ni Ma'am Shenny, and I think the list... Uh, goes on, no? Ma'am Len as well, Ma'am Teya, and sa lahat ng mga subscribers natin, Char. Okay, let's see. 
So you could see ano pong common sa kanila. Yung common sa kanila ay A at saka C. So therefore, the correct answer is letter C. So I hope na may natutunan po tayo for tonight and I hope na mataas din po yung score natin. No? So I hope as well to see you next week. Thank you very much and a great day to one and all.